In the depths of North Yorkshire, England, a remarkable project is quietly underway. It's a project of great significance, yet many remain unaware of its existence. The United Kingdom is building a massive new supermine that hardly anyone has heard of, and it holds the promise of transforming the country's economic landscape. Let's dive into the details of this extraordinary project to boost the UK's natural resources, provide an eco-friendly alternative to fertilizers, and showcase some amazing engineering techniques. The United Kingdom is facing a significant challenge, the gradual running out of valuable natural resources like gas and oil. These resources have been vital for powering the nation and selling to other countries. However, there's a new discovery in town, polyhalite. This mineral, largely known to most people in the UK, is set to be a game changer. It's predicted to add at least $130 billion to the UK's economy over the next 50 years. Polyhalite has a hidden treasure. It's a natural mineral that contains essential elements that plants need to grow, and the best part is that it doesn't require any chemical processing after it's mined. This makes it a fantastic natural fertilizer. The company Anglo-American is taking this polyhalite and turning it into a low-carbon fertilizer called Poly4, which is much better for the environment than traditional chemical fertilizers. The UK's future is looking brighter with polyhalite, it's not only a solution to the UK's diminishing natural resources, but also a sustainable option for farming and a boost to the country's economy. Polyhalite may sound like a well-kept secret, but it's a true agricultural gem. This naturally occurring mineral is a blend of essential nutrients like potassium, sulfur, magnesium, and calcium, accompanied by a host of micronutrients. But what makes it truly special is its incredible potential as a fertilizer. Unlike traditional chemical fertilizers, polyhalite doesn't need any chemical processing after it's mined. It's naturally ready to use, which sets it apart. This means that when farmers use polyhalite to nourish their crops, those crops can be proudly labeled as organic. This is a big deal because organic crops are highly valued, and polyhalite makes it much easier for farmers to meet this demand. So polyhalite addresses the world's processing need for high-value crop nutrition. The traditional chemical fertilizers we've been using for years have raised environmental concerns due to their impact on the planet. Polyhalite offers a greener and more sustainable alternative. This isn't just about being green, it's also about being economically competitive. Poly4 offers a solution that benefits both the environment and farmers' wallets. In the world of agriculture, polyhalite is a mineral with remarkable properties that can help us grow crops more sustainably and meet increasing demand for organic produce. The mystery of polyhalite isn't just about what it is, it's about its promising future for agriculture and the environment. The Woodsmith Mine, situated near Whitby in North Yorkshire, England, is an engineering feat hidden from the public. You might be wondering why such a crucial project hasn't captured more attention. The answer is quite interesting. The mine's unique design is all about remaining concealed and blending with the natural surroundings. As you approach the mine, you'd see large farming barns. These structures are not what they appear to be. Instead, they serve as a clever camouflage for the actual mining operations happening below the surface. In reality, the core facilities of the mine are tucked away, buried 50 meters or even deeper beneath the earth. The architects and engineers behind this project have achieved something quite remarkable. They've integrated the mine into the existing environment. Unlike traditional mines, there are no towering structures dominating the landscape. You won't spot massive warehouses or a constant stream of trucks working about. The Woodsmith Mine doesn't disrupt the natural beauty of the North York Moors National Park. Instead, it complements it. The untrained eye wouldn't even notice its presence. This concealment is a conscious effort to preserve the delicate balance between resource extraction and nature. The architects of the Woodsmith Mine have set a unique standard for sustainable coexistence. The construction of the Woodsmith Mine is proof of what the human mind can achieve. It's a super sustainable, one-of-a-kind mine that employs several engineering and construction techniques to achieve its goals. The service shaft of the Woodsmith Mine is like a secret passage to a hidden world, located nearly 1,600 meters beneath the Earth's surface. To keep this vital access point concealed, it's enclosed with a massive barn, making it appear as ordinary as any farm building. This shaft is no ordinary hole in the ground. It's a carefully constructed one. It reaches a depth of 60 meters and spans 30 meters in width, making it spacious. 
Its walls are fortified with steel-reinforced concrete, ensuring both strength and durability. But the real magic happens at the top of the shaft, where a towering 45-meter-tall winding tower stands. This tower serves as a lifeline, responsible for lowering and raising workers, materials, and equipment to and from the mine's pit deep below the ground. Despite its unassuming appearance, the service shaft is an essential part of the woodsmith mine's operations, enabling workers to access the depths while maintaining the mine's hidden nature. In another barn-like structure within the woodsmith mine lies the mineral extraction shaft, a key player in the mining process. Unlike the service shaft, its purpose is distinct. It's designed to lift the precious mineral from a depth of 1,600 meters to the mineral transport tunnel. The mining process here involves a combination of methods to attract the valuable mineral known as polyhalite, including blasting, cutting, and drilling. Once the mineral is loosened from its home, it goes on a journey. It's transported on a flexible conveyor belt to the mineral extraction shaft. This is where the mineral begins its ascent to the surface, ultimately making its way to the mineral transport system. The mineral extraction shaft is the gateway to bringing the hidden treasure back to the world above where it can be processed into valuable resources and contribute to the global demand for sustainable farming solutions. Let's now look at the mineral transport tunnel. Stretching a staggering 37 kilometers, it's the longest tunnel in all of England. Its mission is to ferry polyhalite ore from the Woodsmith Mine to the Wilton Materials Handling Facility near Teesport. This tunnel is no ordinary passageway, it's a long structure with a 5-meter diameter and walls boasting 20-centimeter thick concrete. What's truly shocking is how it came into being. Three colossal tunnel boring machines, TBMs, each weighing 2,000 tons, were employed to carve this tunnel. These giants worked along at an average pace of 20 meters per day, creating a path through the earth. To construct this tunnel, prefabricated concrete segments were crafted on the surface and then fed into the TBMs. These segments were assembled piece by piece to form a solid concrete-lined tunnel. This tunnel serves as the hidden highway, ensuring that polyhalite ore can be transported efficiently and securely to its next destination, supporting both the mine's operations and the global agricultural needs. At the Wilton Materials Handling Facility in Teesport, they process the extracted polyhalite ore without any harmful chemicals. This mineral is naturally pure, boasting an impressive 88% purity level. What makes it even more special is that it requires no complicated chemical treatments. Instead of complex and potentially harmful processes, the polyhalite is simply crushed and granulated. That's it. No chemicals are needed. The result of this straightforward and green process is the Poly4 product. It's a ready-to-use, environmentally friendly fertilizer that can be used in farming without harming the earth. It's a perfect example of how we can harness the Earth's resources sustainably, contributing to both agricultural success and a cleaner planet. The Woodsmith Mine isn't just a local secret. Its impact goes across the globe. Thanks to its sustainable mining and eco-friendly Poly4 fertilizer production, it's set to export millions of tons worldwide. By 2030, this export is predicted to soar to a staggering 20 million tons yearly. This global journey isn't just about spreading a new fertilizer, it's about revolutionizing agriculture and promoting responsible resource management. Poly4, with its natural purity and organic qualities, is a game changer for high-value crops, giving farmers an eco-friendly alternative to chemical fertilizers. To handle this worldwide demand, a purpose-built port named Brand Sands is under construction. This port is tailor-made to receive large bulk cargo ships, ensuring that Poly4 can reach countries far and wide. The Woodsmith Mine, hidden beneath the UK's surface, is quietly reshaping agriculture on a global scale, showcasing how creative, eco-conscious practices can benefit the entire planet.